In recent months, we have seen numerous videos showcasing the capabilities of modern humanoid robots and robotic machines. For example, the American humanoid magic bot has proven to be a master at toasting marshmallows. The Chinese Unitree G1 has demonstrated its prowess as a skilled chef. And the Astrobot S1, also from China, has handled all household tasks with ease. However, all these videos were recorded in special laboratories where everything is meticulously planned. The Chinese company Robot Era decided to astonish everyone by showing how their new humanoid robot walks along a major architectural monument. This is Xbot L, yet another humanoid robot from China. This is the first robot in the world to run along the Great Wall of China. Xbot L demonstrates its ability to move steadily along the famous wall, adeptly handling the partially ruined pavement and uneven surfaces. The robot does not trip over potholes and bumps and can also climb stairs. The humanoid can bend to pass through the narrow arches of the wall's watchtowers. Robot Era believes that other robots cannot accomplish such a feat. In short, the Chinese continue to amaze the world with their innovations. If anyone has made significant advancements in creating ultra-realistic robots, it's the Japanese. Here is Junko Chihira, a humanoid robot developed by the Japanese company Toshiba for customer service. This robot has attracted attention for its high degree of realism and its ability to reproduce human emotions and gestures. Junko Chihira can interact with people, provide information and perform certain tasks. Its design and functions are intended to make interactions with technology more natural and pleasant for users. Junko Chihira speaks and welcomes shopping center visitors in English, Japanese and Chinese, and can also communicate in sign language. Toshiba's speech synthesis technology is behind Junko Chihira's multilingual abilities, and developers aim to equip her with speech recognition technology. Once armed with speech recognition, the robot can respond to questions asked by tourists at Tokyo's waterfront. At the recently concluded Japanese robot exhibition ICRA 2024, the updated version of the humanoid anime robot named Hatsuki made its debut. The character is claimed to be the result of a fusion of anime, robotics, and artificial intelligence. Standing 145 centimeters tall, the robot has become a temporary ambassador for the Japanese electronics and components manufacturing company Sanyo Denki. Hatsuki is not a comic book character, but a testbed for the Cateroid Project's technical club. Enthusiasts in robotics have used it to test, for example, the generation of humanoid robot movements using deep learning, human-robot interaction, AI research, and the operational testing of the virtual YouTuber system. The creators of Hatsuki ultimately aim to break the so-called fourth wall, allowing interaction with the character in reality. The robot is equipped with a motion capture system and can be controlled via the internet or directly reproduce movements from anime. The developers have also implemented the ability to have dialogues with the robot, thanks to the ubiquitous GPT. Here is perhaps the most unusual robot in today's video, Wally from Studio Cricket. This fascinating project is based on the use of an Arduino microcontroller. Initially, this robot was a toy model of Wally, -E, the famous character from the Pixar animated film, which was soon modified and turned into a true marvel of engineering. At this stage, the robot has already been taught to move its head, and Wally -E is controlled by users directly from a computer. The creators of the project plan to expand its capabilities by adding arm rotation, voice control, and the ability to move. This makes the project more complex and interesting for robotics enthusiasts. Additionally, the robot can be an excellent tool for learning programming and the basics of robotics, as the project requires knowledge of working with microcontrollers and writing code. Here is another truly extraordinary development. These incredible camera robots you see on the screen have gained fame for their high speed and precision. They are part of a broader line of robotic cameras developed by Mark Roberts Motion Control Bolt Cinebot, including models such as Bolt X and Bolt Junior Plus. These robots are capable of capturing high-speed actions with exceptional accuracy, making them ideal for various applications, including sports. 
The Bolt X model is notable for its extended arm length of 3.2 meters and the ability to move vertically almost 5 meters. This allows it to capture a wide range of dynamic movements and complex shots that would be difficult to achieve manually. It can reach speeds of up to 9.7 meters per second and handle loads up to 20 kilograms, making it versatile for both studio and on-location shoots. In the context of tennis, these robots can be programmed to track and film the fast movements of players, providing unique angles and capturing high-speed actions. This enhances the viewer's experience and provides valuable information for player and coach analysis. Quavo, a humanoid robot developed by Chinese Leiju Robot Technology Company and Hire, was exhibited at the recent 2024 Appliance and Electronics World Expo in Shanghai. The robot is meant for family services such as washing and drying clothes, watering plants and arranging flowers. Quavo weighs about 45 kilograms and can walk in all directions with a maximum speed of 4.6 kilometers per hour. It can also jump to a height of 20 centimeters. According to the company, compared with its first version which debuted in December 2023, Quavo's upper limbs have significantly improved operational performance. It completes its assigned tasks through object position recognition, terminal trajectory planning, and flexible object grasping. In terms of technical improvements, Quavo's arms have 28 degrees of freedom, and the ability to control whole body motion has been greatly improved. Employees of an Italian research laboratory are testing a new version of the humanoid robot Walkman, designed to assist in technological accidents, debris clearing and firefighting. The Walkman robot was developed as part of a European Union-funded project. The robot is operated by a human operator wearing a sensor-equipped suit. The robot's head houses a 3D laser scanner, microphones and video cameras, allowing the operator to see all of its movements and actions. The robot stands 1.85 meters tall and weighs 102 kilograms. Walkman operates for about two hours on a single battery charge. The robot's movements are powered by 32 motors and control boards. The firefighting robot can lift up to 10 kilograms with each arm. Testing has shown that the robot successfully opened a door to enter a room, located and closed a valve to stop a hypothetical gas leak, cleared debris blocking its path, and then found and extinguished a fire. A research group from Northeastern University has introduced a new approach that enables snake-like robots to simultaneously move and manipulate objects. This approach was initially implemented on Cobra, a robotic platform developed by students. The Cobra robot has a built-in gripping mechanism in its head, designed to assist the robot in a specific mode of movement, tumbling. While the robot tumbles, its head and tail latch together, forming a structure that resembles a wheel allowing it to passively roll down slopes at high speeds. The scientists modified the robot's gripper to attach to a box, lift it, and move it to another location. This capability allows the robot to deftly manipulate objects and navigate confined spaces, inclined surfaces, or areas where standard robots cannot operate. The researchers plan to equip Cobra with a set of sensors, including a camera and an inertial measurement unit. These additions will make the robot able to perform more autonomous navigation tasks using lateral undulating movements. The camera will allow the robot to identify, lift, and transport boxes to different locations. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video did you like the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time.